Hello, my name is Robin and I am the lead art at Taru2. Welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to show you some of my work using open source material and programs to create content for professional games. So I'm hoping that you will be inspired to do your own games or just be inspired to play our game when it is finished. Okay, so this is basically just me in the beginning of the process making a thumbnail character. I've already started here, as you can see, um, a few minutes into the, the, the painting of the character. Uh, so I'm going to just t t take this beginning part to explain uh, some things about GIMP. If you haven't used it before, uh, you maybe you're used to Photoshop and you get annoyed with a lot of stuff. Uh, first of all, uh, it's really good to learn to use the preferences uh, because you can change a lot of things like uh, shortcuts so that they are similar to the Photoshop ones. Uh, I, I find this really good as I usually use Photoshop as well uh, and uh, going in between programs at different short keys is really annoying. So go in and make sure you have changed uh, the key combination so you can use uh, Control E for merging layers or uh, Control D to uh, deselect and stuff like that. And, and also make sure you give a short key for the size of the brush. Uh, this is will be quite annoying to always go to, a, to the right bar and um, move it back and forth uh, when you're painting. You can do this for opacity as well. Uh, and you can see here that I put colors at the right. You can you can modify your your um, windows as much as you want. It's actually quite easy, but you have to give it some time to get into. And so, um, when you modified everything to your need and you've got anything running, uh, I just uh, the, the, the thing that is so good about open source is that it's totally free. You can use these programs for your productions and uh, do games without a big budget. Uh, it is possible to create really good games, high quality games. Uh, throughout this tutorial, so that I will put out through our blog uh, at www.po2games.com uh, and here on YouTube. Uh, I'm going to talk about Blender as well, as it's a good tool f uh, for o uh, open source development or professional development where you don't have a big budget. Uh, to work with, but still want to program to use to your advantage. Okay, so I'm basically doing the sketching for the character now. I have moved the thumbnail up to the, the, the left corner to see it, but I'm going to do some changes now in my base sketch. Uh, I want to have a more angry look to the character, so I'm going to have an open mouth and uh, sort of tilted eyebrows uh, and a more aggressive look. Uh, I'm also blowing the hair to the side and uh, giving the character a crown. Uh, I think it's, it's really good as uh, a concert artist to, to emote uh, what the character is going to be like more than being 100% correct with uh, anatomy and uh, uh, rendering for hours because uh, what you want to do is you want to if it's not going to be in the final product it's just going to be um, a, p a picture for the artist who make the 3D or uh, an inspiration for the character uh, it only needs to be as good as to tell you everything you have to know about the character. So here I'm starting to work with the face, uh, and I, I, I really like to work with the face when it comes to characters, because uh, a lot of the characterization is in the face, um, I should say. Um, I guess uh, also the, the body language, and it's much easier to 
do this in the sketch than to do it later in the rendering. In the rendering you can always fix uh, anatomy problems, lighting problems, uh, say hair problems or any other problem, but uh, the basic uh, look of the character is hard to fix later. So try to fix that early on in the process uh, when you're still sketching. This is the easiest uh, place to fix things that isn't really like you want them to be. And you have your thumbnail, so you can look at it and say, okay, this is how I want basically the character to look. So it's, almost, it's often easier to work out a sketch when you have a thumbnail, a good base for your character. Uh, at least that's how I work. Some other people might work in another way, but uh, to me this worked really well. Uh, the video is now running in two times the speed and we'll be running two times the speed uh, throughout uh, the rest of the tutorial. Uh, I also want to point out the music is from the game <laughs> Dwarves and it is made by a company called Town Scroll and they're really good at making uh, this kind of music so uh, you should check them out. Okay, so now we have done some more rendering and jumped to step because it's basically just uh, polishing it with uh, a lot of brushes using in between and you're gonna see more polishing later of the video so I skipped ahead to the coloring of this character uh, you can see that I have left out uh, a lot of rendering and this is to make it faster for you to see uh, as well as uh, I often do this uh, as the other part is not as important to me and I'm just gonna uh, go ahead and, and sort of load them out layer uh, with a color palette uh, so here I'm, I'm starting to make a palette in the, in the layer uh, some like to have them uh, on the layers uh, out on the canvas and some like to use um, the, 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 the palette options that's different for persons. Here I'm using uh, multiply uh, to be able to save the rendering that I've done uh, uh, using um, uh, the purple color for this character and um, you can see that I choose uh, three colors and that's very usual when you paint the character or choose a color that you have a shadow color and uh, uh, a medium color and, and a light color and you often depending on what kind of light it is you often choose to make a warmer color for the light and a, a cold color uh, for the, the the shadowy parts and so uh, uh, released it to the book and made uh, a warm color for the light and blue as often said is a, a, a very cold color for, for the shadows blue is often used for shadowing so uh, it doesn't have to be like this it's it's not about exactly what color